Hello friends. In this video, I will do a problem on motion under gravity. And this problem is called two root or one root. So the problem statement says, you throw a ball vertically upward from the roof of a tall building. The ball leaves your hand at a point with an upward speed of 15 meter per second. The ball is then in free fall. On its way back down, it just misses the railing. So you have to find at what time after being released has the ball will fall 5 meter below the roof railing. So let us try to see this problem first using a diagram. So this is the tall building that we have and this ball is thrown vertically up from top of the roof and there is a railing and this railing is very small so this is just going from the corner of the railing or edge of the railing so that when this ball is coming in the downward direction it does not go into the railing it goes outside of the railing so this ball is thrown vertically up so this is going in the upward direction so this is the vertical motion and after a certain point of time its velocity will be zero because gravity is pulling this ball so it will start coming down so this ball is coming down something like this and then this ball will fall to the ground. So this is the path of this ball. So finally this ball will be on the ground. So this is upward journey and this is the downward journey of the ball. So ball is coming downward. Now this is also given in the question that this is a case of free fall. So what is the meaning when I say free fall? This means acceleration of the ball is due to gravity. So we can basically know what is the acceleration of this ball. Because this is under free fall, this means we can apply constant acceleration and that is value of gravity Z 9.8 meter per second square. So what are the things that is given? So we have been given initial velocity that is this ball is thrown in the upward direction with a velocity of 15 meter per second that is uy is given and what is else that is given we know a by that is acceleration and that is z 9.8 meter per second square now we have to solve this problem since this is a one dimensional motion we have to choose a axis and for that we have to choose first origin so origin will be this because generally we choose origin from where the motion takes place where the motion starts so from rest this ball starts its motion from this point so i can consider this is origin and this is the y axis so y axis is in the upward direction so anything that is in the upward direction will be taken as positive and anything that is in the downward direction will be taken as negative. For example, acceleration due to gravity is in the downward direction. So this will be negative. But the velocity is in the upward direction. So this will be positive. Now what we have to find? We have to find time after which basically after being released the ball will fall at a distance of 5 meter below the roof railing. So basically what is the position of ball? The position of ball is this is the roof railing so this is the origin from here this ball is 5 meter below. So this distance is given so y value is given that is 5 meter below the roof railing and this is the level of roof railing that is on the origin so this is the level of origin so y value is given to us so y is equals to so this is positive or negative this is negative because y is the downward side so y is equals to minus 5 meter and what we have to find we have to find what is the time when y is equals to minus 5 meter so how will you find that if you remember we have the formula that is s is equals to ut plus half a t square the kinematical equation for calculating the distance in case of constant acceleration case now we can use this formula for y direction then i can write by is equals to u by t 
प्लस हाफ ए बाई टी स्क्वायर एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो राइट सिंस ए बाई इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस जी सो आई कैन राइट यू बाई टी प्लस हाफ एंड ए बाई इज नथिंग बट माइनस जी टी स्क्वायर ना दिस इक्वेशन इज बेसिकली क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इन टी आई कैन रीअरेंज दिस एक्सप्रेशन आई कैन टेक दिस लेफ्ट साइड आई कैन राइट हाफ जी टी स्क्वायर एंड दिस विल बिकम निगेटिव माइनस यू बाई टी एंड प्लस बाई इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन एंड दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज क्वाड्रेटिक इन टी सो दिस इज क्वाड्रेटिक इन टी प्रोबेबली you will knowing that how do you solve a quadratic equation so basically whenever you have a quadratic equation there are two roots for example if i have a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 there are two roots of this equation and this is x is equals to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so this is the expression we have that is the root now what is the value of a in this case in this formula or in this equation a is equals to simply half z and what is the value of b b is nothing but minus u so b is equals to minus u by and what is c c is equals to by so c is equals to by and this expression is quadratic in t so basically i have to replace x with time t so what will be the root in this case so i can write t is equals to minus b that is minus of minus u by so minus of minus u by that is b is equals to minus u by minus b plus minus b square is nothing but minus u by whole square minus 4 and a is nothing but simply half z and this multiplied by c c is by and this divided by 2a so this is the expression for time so i can calculate time so let us simplify this so this will be u by plus minus u by a square Minus two z by and this divided by z. So this is the expression for time. If I know the by u by z, we can calculate time. So let us calculate this value. So we have t is equals to u by is given that is nothing but fifteen meter per second plus minus u by is fifteen meter per second whole square. Minus two and g is nothing but nine point eight meter per second square and then by by is known that is minus five meter and this divided by z and g is nothing but nine point eight meter per second square. So if you solve this, you will find two value of t. So two roots of t. One is t is equals to three point three six second. and another value that will come t is equals to negative 0.3 second so these are the two roots that we have for this equation now we have one root that is negative so in this case if you see this root is negative so negative root has no physical meaning so there is no physical meaning in this case so no physical meaning so basically i have to neglect this root or i have to discard this root basically what this says t is equals to minus 0.3 this basically signify a time that is before the throwing of the ball so zero is the time when we throw the ball so this is the 0.3 second before throwing of the ball that does not make any sense so in this case i can say we have only one solution or one root that is t is equals to 3.36 second so ball will be at a height of 5 meter below the original position that is uh, by equals to 0 at a time of 3.36 second so i can say y is equals to minus 5 meter 
this height will be reached at t is equals to 3.36 second now you can also calculate for y is equals to plus 5 meter the same expression i can use only thing is i will replace by with plus 5 meter in that case if you calculate time you will get time is equals to two time value will get one is 0 0.38 second and other value of time that you will get is 2.68 second now you see in this case both roots are positive so this means i have to consider both both root has physical meaning why this is so because in this case this ball is going up and then coming down so this is the path of this ball so y is equals to plus 5 meter so y is equals to plus 5 meter is somewhere here 5 meter so one time corresponds to upward journey so this is 0 0.38 second and other corresponds to downward journey so basically the ball is at t is equals to 5 meter at two point one corresponds to 0.38 second that is upward journey so upward journey ball is at a distance of 5 meter and this corresponds to 0 0.38 second and when the ball is coming in the downward side once again time is equals to 2.68 second the ball is at a height of 5 meter so in this case i can say both root has meaning now you can also calculate what will be the value of time when you have y is equals to 11.5 meter so let's say so with two cases we calculated in one case we have one root negative in another case both root is positive now let us consider third case that is y is equals to 11.5 meter in this case if you calculate time you will find there is only one root in other words we can say both root are same that is the equal root you are getting an equal root in that case you will find t is 1 is equals to t2 and this is equals to 1.53 second basically i have calculated this in the previous video now see this point basically corresponds to the highest point so t1 is equals to t2 and that is same this corresponds to the highest point so you see this ball is going upward and then coming downward so you see in this case at the top point you will have y is equals to 11.5 meter and there are two times one is going another is coming this means both times are same that is 1.53 in other words you can say one point is 1.52999 another is 1.53 so very little difference basically there is no difference just to uh, just to make sense i am saying that in one case one corresponds to upward journey another corresponds to a downward journey but in this case both roots are coinciding both roots are equal and that case basically this corresponds to the highest point the peak point so corresponding time is 1.53 second so in this video we have seen whenever you have a by as a function of time and this is a quadratic expression so there are three possibility one possibility that is both roots are positive another possibility one root is positive another root is negative and third possibility both roots are same and that value is positive both root negative has no meaning and this is not possible because you can't have both root negative there are only three possible situation one root positive another root negative positive negative this means in that case you have to discard the negative and you have to consider the positive both positive this means one corresponds to the upward journey another corresponds to the downward journey both root equal that corresponds to the top point when the velocity is zero and ball is at the highest point and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy and you like then please share with your friends and i will see you in the next video for the time being see you bye take care